Aoife Fitzgerald, is it fair to say that rumours of Cork's demise are greatly exaggerated? Well, I don't know where those rumours came from, but um, at the end of the day, it's players and matches, and, and you know, you saw out there today the hunger and the drive in the girls, so uh, certainly Cork, I, I think Cork will always be competitive because the very nature of the game in, in, in Cork, it's, you know, there's an awful lot of girls playing it now, and they're getting good coaching on their age, so they, you know, I would hope that they'll be a conveyor belt for many years to come. Yeah, there was examples of that today with uh, Anya Sullivan, Hannah Looney, girls like that coming in and doing a great job. There was. I mean, obviously we, we've lost a few, we've had a few long-term injuries and maybe a couple of retirements. And I suppose people assume then, you know, when the established players are gone, that they, you know it's a transition period. But I don't think in Cork we can afford to have transition. You know, there's, there's plenty of competition for places. And, you know, the girls that came in today, I think they've put their hands up in terms of, of, of next week, certainly. And, and from there on in, you know, it's in these type of games that you, you learn a lot about, you know, your players as to whether they can, they can play at this level or not. And I think they all stood up today. So I was absolutely delighted with the performance. Yeah, big performance, big win, and people around the country will be saying, well, Cork certainly haven't gone away. What do you think from here in terms of your league ambitions and aspirations? Well, obviously, we're lo- I mean, these games are invaluable. You know, we have our man next week, and if we lose that, we're out. So, you know, that's a very big game for us as well. Now, I don't know what the permutations are in terms of qualification and that. You know, I haven't I haven't seen the other results today, but I think if we win next week, we're in, we're in with a chance of, of you know, at least getting into a playoff. So that would be great in terms of, of these competitive matches. Uh, but I think we're using these games and we're using, you know, I suppose I'm in the, ga- in, in the job a few months now and I really get to know the players. Still, even with some of the, the younger ones, you know, you're looking and I'm looking around the county to see if there are any more of them out there. You know, and our panel at the moment is open. You know, we'll probably close it back a bit li- um, once the league is over. But it's just trying to give everybody a fair chance and we've had ample opportunity over the, over the league to, to do that. Can you just finally update us on a couple of players? I mean, I know you're saying it's a, you're coming into the parade where you've got to make decisions. Uh, Duran O'Sullivan there today, I saw on crutches. Valerie Mulcahy still not back. So w- what news have you got from the camp? Yeah, well, I haven't spoken to Valerie for a long time and she intimated the last time I spoke to her that she was retiring. So, you know, I... I, I, I you know, I just take her out of war with that. I'm not so sure, but uh, Duran had a, an operation, a keyhole surgery on her cartilage, so she'll be out for seven or eight weeks. Um, but they were able to repair it, which is good for Duran long term. You know, so um, it'll keep her out a bit longer in the short term. But like looking at a long term future, I think it's it's invaluable that that uh, the surgeon was able to repair it. So we're delighted with that.